In the place that Baalei Tshuva are standing, even complete righteous people cannot stand. Why? Because when a righteous man is so pure that he does not sin and he is always being observant and keeping Torah and Mitzvot and he is going in that clean path, his life are so easy compared to the life of a person that used to sin, that used to darkness, that grew up in the filth of lust and desires and bad attributes, for that person, for the person that comes out of darkness, he needs to fight with so many difficulties, he has so many obstacles that he needs to remove his family, his friends, people that knows him, all of his bad attributes, the anger, the sadnesses, the, 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 the negativity that he was going with, bitterness, and all of his lackings, the scars, all of his bad habits. He used to drink, he used to smoke, he used to drive, he used to drive fast. What All the bad things that he was used to as the old person that he was before, now he need to cut himself from all those things. He need to, 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 to redesign himself in a new world. And it's hard. He cannot only keep Shabbat. He also needs not to violate Shabbat. A righteous man, it's simple. What can he do in Shabbat except of accepting it, except of singing in it, except of walking calmly and happily to the synagogue? But a person that is a Baal Tshuva, a person that made a huge comeback from darkness, every bike that is making his way to the beach, is an evil inclination, is a voice in his hand. Every car that is going with their beatbox, with their sound, with their bass machines, and destroying his mind, and he like needs, no, I'm not joining them. Every party, every cigarette, every smoke, every smell, everything is calling him. That's you, come back. Look, people are happy over there. People are clubbing, people are partying, people are making fun, people are enjoying life. Look at you with your beard, with your long sleeves, with your head cover, with your dress, with all the things. Yet the uh, eyes coming and attacking. You're not enjoying life, you're wasting your time. And anyway, Hashem won't help you. And anyway, Hashem don't answer your prayers. And look how many times you prayed and you haven't been answered. Answered. And look those people how they're succeeding all day long drilling 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 in the mind of the Baal Tshuva. And the Baal Tshuva is fighting with all that negativity. He is fighting to not let it beat him down. To not let it knock him down. Why? Because his heart is a flaming fire to Hashem. So in the same time that he's trying to be simple, just to pray a little bit, just to learn a little bit, he needs in one hand to hold the cedar and with one hand to fight with another half of the world. It's not only standing and praying like that, happily and calmly. He cannot pray one prayer calmly and quietly. In his mind the thoughts are attacking and destroying and sabotaging every good intention and every pure thought. And he needs to fight. So a Baal Tshuva, when he's putting that effort and making that path, making that way, he's achieving so much more than a pure person that never sinned in his life. Because the reward is corresponding to the effort. Kefumtsara Agra. How much effort did you put in Avodat Hashem? That's how much you're going to achieve. No one tells you you need to reach the 1,000th floor. If you came from minus 1,000 and you're finding yourself on zero in the end of your life, you still achieved 1,000 floors. You don't need to check where am I holding. You need to check where am I holding compared to where that I was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And not to judge yourself based on trying to compare yourself to other people that in reality there is no connection between you guys.